Hello, Pisces. This is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. I am bringing you your readings for the second half of the month of March. So that's the 16th to the 31st. Yeah. So let's get into it. Just a little bit of shop talk. I am available on Instant Go if you'd like to ask me a quick question. Um, the link to my Instant Go profile is in the description box below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, the information on some readings that I offer and my email address is also in the description box below. So please do not hesitate to reach out if there's something you want to talk about, yeah? Um, okay, so guys, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And a good thing I'd like to suggest is if something really resonates with you and you want to get a, a deeper understanding of the, of the, of, you know, whatever you're thinking about on a personal level, definitely reach out and we can talk about it. All right, Pisces. So let's get into this for you. Yeah. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces for this time period of March 16th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Pisces. I hope you all had a good birthday. We are moving out of Pisces season now. I believe. <laughs> Pisces. All right, one more shuffle for you, Pisces, and then we will get to it. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Okay, so starting you off in your overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Followed by... The Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, ooh, and the Seven of Swords. All right, so we've got some, we've got some pretty heavy energy for you, Pisces. Um, I don't remember what we talked about in your last video, so I'm just gonna go forward with this and see what I get. Uh, all right, so either. You, Pisces, are showing up as the queen of pentacles here, or you have someone in your life that's either a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just someone that embodies the queen of pentacles energy. What is the queen of pentacles energy? Well, she's logical. She's stable. She's a homebody. She's a homemaker. She's a good wife. She's a good mother. Um, she's very supportive, very caring. She can be very stern. Um, you know, she sometimes she can she can be a real hard ass, but it's really all in service of um, empowerment. OK, she's very much someone that wants to enrich and empower as, the people around her, but especially her family. OK, the people that she considers to be her family or the people that are closest to her. And what I'm seeing here is there is some sort of deception. There is some sort of betrayal is what I just heard. Um, and unfortunately, it turned, now the, the, the cards aren't reversed. Um, I really don't, I don't usually read reversals. Um, but what I'm picking up here is somewhere along the line, either this, either you Pisces, as you're showing, if you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, or whoever this person is that is embodying the Queen of Pentacles energy, she got turned reversed. And let me tell you, that is a hard thing to do. OK, she is very stable. Um, she's very grounded, especially with her emotions. And it takes a while. You know, it takes some real poking, real pushing to get her to re to be reversed, to be in a negative stance. Um, so whatever happened here, <clears throat> man, I mean, she endured it for a while, but there was a breaking point. There was definitely a breaking point. And what I feel like is. With the Four of Cups here, um, something, someone was being taken for granted, is what I'm picking up here. And that started a Five of Swords energy between you two. Um, it became, 
Um, there, I mean, what I what I'm what I originally picked up on was um, this Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is resembling uh, became combative um, and started fighting back, and maybe got a bit a little vicious about it, like maybe a little bit reckless, um, which isn't which I, I say lightly because even when even if she is reversed um it's it, a lot of the time when the queen of pentacles reacts in a negative way it's not it's still logically based okay she doesn't just go for it for the sake of just for the sake of hurting someone that's more of the queen of swords energy in reverse but here what i what i'm seeing is like there was a battle that happened that it was kind of a lose-lose situation because in the end you both walked away feeling like shit basically um but from the queen of pentacles point of view the way she approached the way she approached the situation the way she reacted in the situation was still um i heard balanced logically balanced and it was more like it became vicious because all of the pent-up energy that was going on around whatever this seven of swords symbolizes here whatever this um betrayal was it it hurt her deeply but you know, it got to a point where she just couldn't hold it in anymore and she just let it all out. And it became interesting. Um, the, there's a four of wands under here and that wanted to pop out. And so um, I'll get to that in a second, but it, whatever this fight was, maybe she's not too proud of herself, but at the end of the day, she knew she needed to do it is what I'm picking up here. Now with the four of wands that was underneath that, this has to do with some twin flame situations. Now guys, this is a general reading. Um, so if you don't identify with the twin flame journey or whatnot, then don't worry about it. But that four of wands wanted to come out to tell, just to confirm what I was feeling, um, picking up on the fact that, you know, this is, this is, we are speaking to some twin flames here, okay? All right, Pisces. So let's get into the actual storyline here. We have the Page of Pentacles um, and the King of Wands. Okay, yeah, um, definitely some twin flame energy here. Here, in, in this case, it's the Divine Masculine showing up um, as the King of Wands. But there is, I mean, already there's a good amount of Pentacles energy here. So we're either talking about a situation with another Earth sign or someone that's just very stable, maybe someone that's very materially oriented, like materially focused. Um, but here... I find that whoever was on the, whoever, um, the other person in the situation that's not represented by the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, the King of Wands. So that's either a, your divine masculine, if you're a divine feminine, or it's just, uh, maybe it's a fire sign, a Lo Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or it's just someone that is very fiery, someone that is very um, passionate, um, he's a go-getter, you know, this is a masculine energy. Please don't get wrapped up into the gender um, identification. This really is just about energy. And when it comes to the king of wands, um, he is a masculine energy. So he, is, he goes out and gets what he wants and he does it like right away. Like he, he's not playing around. He knows exactly what he wants. And if he doesn't know how he, he's gonna get it, he will figure it out very quickly, okay? Here though, I'm picking up that there's a little bit of, um, yeah, because it's what it's coming through with the Seven of Swords, okay? So the King of Wands is slightly reversed here, or at least was, when this Seven of Swords energy, the Seven of Swords situation came about for you, Pisces. And um, now I'm feeling that he's turning upright. And when he's, when he's reversed, he's extremely promiscuous. Um, he's an uh, extreme partier. He's very reckless. Um, he just kind of does whatever the F he wants and really doesn't care about the consequences in a lot of cases. And the Queen of Pentacles, if uh, if there is any polar opposite to that kind of energy, it would be the King or Queen of Pentacles, okay? So here I'm seeing that, you know, whoever the Queen of Pentacles re resembles, whether if that's you, Pisces, or if you may, maybe you're the King of Wands here, um, whatever was going on, you know, the queen of pentacles endured, but she was only going to endure for so long because at one, at some point, you know, she's going to say to herself, look, I, <laughs> I'm not about this life. You know what I mean? Like I gave you, I'm hearing her say, I gave you chance after chance after chance, and you still wanted to screw it up, screw it up. So 
you got to do something else now because I'm not dealing with this anymore. And so now this is why this has kind of been a kick in the ass to whoever the King of Wands is to turn himself around and now show up as the Page of Pentacles here. He wants, this person wants um, to ask, wants a new start, wants to, I'm seeing them sheepishly approaching whoever the Queen of Pentacles is and being like, look, I'm really sorry. Um, I want to work on changing or I want to work on making this better. Like, what can I do? Blah, blah, blah. What this, that, and the other thing. So that's, that's good. That is a good sign. Next in the story, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of Pentacles energy with the Five of Cups. Um, whoever this King of Wands is, this situation that we're talking about, um, he got it. He or she, they got it. They get it now. They see, they see how in these two cards here, they're seeing how um, you know they really had something really awesome, uh, which is you know resembling the Ten of Pentacles. Um, is represented by the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me. Uh, like they had everything. They had every all of the material abundance that they wanted. They had the happy family or the, at least the potential for a happy family, a happy home life, a sturdy home, you know, st like everything you want and desire in material existence. They had it, <laughs> but they effed it up <laughs> is what I just heard with the Five of Cups. And they were really, they're realizing that. If they haven't already, they're going to be coming to terms with it. Like they're going to, they're not going to be able to run away from the emotions dealing with this situation. And that's what I feel like was the biggest part for them. Because if the King of Wands is reversed, he is someone that runs away from love, is afraid of love, doesn't want anything to do with it. He thinks it's, he, he, he says that, you know, it's no good. It's just going to hurt you, blah, 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 and this, that, and the other. He does everything he can to avoid it. But understand that that mainly stems from, you know, his own trauma uh, without through his life, most likely from childhood, okay? Um, but with the Five of Cups here, this person that is represented by the King of Wands is, if not already, is going to be realizing what, what's gone down. And um, they're going to be upset about it. But I would like to remind them that they still do have two cups behind them. And to be quite honest, those three cups that spilled needed to be spilled anyway, because whatever was in them was rotten. Just going to put it out there. Next in your story, Pisces, we have the two of wands mm -hmm. with the knight of pentacles. All right. So, yeah, so they, they're coming to terms with it. And now they're making a decision. They're looking at the, they're, they're, I, I see them taking a step back and really looking at things objectively. And I tell you, man, there's so much, there is so much pentacles energy. There's so much earth energy here. So I have a really strong feeling that some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Okay. And they're coming through right now as the knight of pentacles with the two of wands. So the knight of pentacles is, um, well, it's not just them because it could, this could be you Pisces because this is a general reading. So this could be you. But if it's not you, Pisces, um, most likely for I'm picking up for a good amount of you, this does have to do with an earth sign. Um, OK, so this person that's, you know, that was uh, showed up as the king of wands here, he he or she um, turned upright. OK, and stepped into the situation as the page of pentacles and as the page of pentacles he saw they saw he or she began to see the effects of their actions and they started to see how they lost or they have run the risk of really losing something that um was going to give them the ultimate fulfillment materially that they wanted okay and please understand that there's nothing wrong with this wanting ma ma ultimate material Fulfillment. I mean, we are in a material world, so I'm not trying to say that they're like a materialist or like, you know, they're, they're, they're too focused on the physical. But what I'm saying is they had something really good. And now as the page of pentacles, they realized it. And so once they became, once they got to that point where they're now really understanding that, you know, what they did was wrong is what I heard. Now they're approaching the situation as the knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is a very, is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Um, he or she um, is very methodical. You know, they play, they, they, they can make the blueprint of a lifetime. All right. Like they, they don't leave any stone unturned. And when we're coming, we're talking about someone that previously made a, some pretty big mistakes in the past and is now coming to a realization of what that is coupled with the two of wands, 
you it's it, this is a very very good message because like i said before they're starting to get it and they're starting to make a decision as to how they can move forward but they're trying to do it in the best way possible they're trying to do it in a way that is um going to keep them from having to face this situation again in the future okay moving forward pisces we have oh look at that the ten of cups the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups that's really good and it's underneath the king of wands so not only did the king of wands recognize that they they that they kind of really screwed up this really good physical situation they're also coming to terms with the love aspect of it the emotional aspect of it okay because as this king of wands is turning up right they're now facing there, because this is not this five of cups is not just talking about you know what they did in this situation to cause you two to move away from each other they're also seeing they are also start at least starting to see or starting to get gain an understanding of what happened in their lives what kinds of trauma they um experienced in their lives in the past that led them to act in the ways that they have been okay uh, the Ten of Cups is also coupled with the moon. Yes, this is, is that's exactly what I was talking about. The moon is symbolizing um, illusions, fear, um, but it's also talking about intuition. And so what they're do what's happening here with this King of Wands, whoever this King of Wands is symbolized is symbolizing, they're starting to see, they're starting to recognize and understand and come to terms with all of the illusions they've held around love and why they haven't been able to experience and accept and appreciate love. And like I said, with this Two of Wands and Knight of Pentacles energy, these are really good signs here, especially for someone that was struggling, was was in a King of Wands reversed state, okay? That's, that's really beautiful. There's so much healing that's happening for this situation whoever these people are in your life pisces whether this is you or somebody else there is a lot of healing happening here a lot of understanding coming to terms it's very nice next in your story we have the three of wands yes yes followed by the six of cups all right guys look this is this is definitely some if not twin flame soulmate energy here okay that deep connections, very deep connections, strong connections too. I need to, I, I, I really want to make this clear. No matter, the queen of pentacles is hard to reverse and it's hard to lose her trust. Okay. She will, I mean, she's very understanding. She's very compassionate. She's logical. She understands that people make mistakes. People go through rough times. Sometimes, you know, they just, they just need people need help keeping it together but when you consistently betray her in some way and again this could be a man this is just energy but when you consistently betray her with what like what the seven of swords was when that came up eventually she's going to cut you off and it's going if you thought it was hard to to lose her trust it's even harder to get it back OK, and I don't want that to be a discouraging aspect. It's it's there for a reason, because she is not she is not one to let you to let, especially if she cares about you. She is not one to let you get over on a lesson easily because she knows that that is a disservice to you. So she's going to make you work. OK, she's going to make you work to regain that trust. And let me tell you, it's going to be healing for you, because then, practically speaking, you can take all of that energy and effort that you put forward into regaining her trust and, re, uh, uh, and and getting her to allow you back into her life, you can then apply that to whatever else you're trying to achieve in your life. And that is a big part of why she does it that way, because she sees the value in, um, in helping people come to terms with the fact that if you persevere, if you stay true to your word, and if you really do the work, you can do anything. And she wants the people that she loves and cares for to be able to do anything, to have the belief and the understanding within themselves that they are capable of anything. OK, so that, I said all that to say that this is a very, very strong connection. So don't think that you've lost it forever. If you are genuine with her, if you can step up to the plate and own up to yourself and say, look, I get it. And I'm going to do everything I can. To fix this. She very well may give you a chance. She very well may give you a chance, okay? And that's what the Three of Wands is talking about. It's like, okay, I understand now. I'm holding this wand. I'm ready to get back on the boat. How do I do this? 
How can I do this? How do we fix this? How do I help us heal this? Okay, that's what the King of Wands is saying to the Queen of Pentacles right now. Because this is a very deep connection and they understand that. It's a soulmate connection. It's a soul family connection. You know, uh, it, it's a twin flame connection too, if that's how you identify. Okay. Finally, Pisces, we have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Yes, this person realizes, they realize that, you know, wish they, their wishes are here. Everything, I'm hearing everything they've always hoped and wanted and dreamed for was right in front of them. Um, but as the Page of Swords, they weren't, I want to say, they didn't have the strong, strong enough communication skills to, um, to really accept this, accept what that, the fact that their wish for the things that they had been wishing for were right in front of them. Okay. But also this is saying that, um, they're kind of, they're in some sense, they're spying, they're collecting information and it, that, and right under the Knight of pentacles, that makes perfect sense because with the Knight of pentacles, they're trying to plan things out. So it's like, they're watching you or you're watching them. You're trying to, they're trying to gauge the King of wands is trying to gauge, um, whether or not you would even be receptive to them coming back into your life or trying to come back into your life. They're trying to figure out where your headspace is right now so that they can have a better understanding of how to approach you, Pisces. Or if you're the King of Wands, that could be what you're experiencing right now. Um, I just want to point out, though, that this, this, this combination right here, the Ten of Cups and the Moon, um, the moon can be a negative card sometimes, but in this situation, this is very, very positive for whoever the king of wands is, because again, they are coming to terms with the illusions that they had surrounding love and unconditional love too. Like they're coming to terms with what unconditional love is, what it feels like, what it really means, because it does absolutely mean that they can, so that you can love somebody, but if they're, if they're just going to keep if they're just going to keep bringing seven of swords energy energy into the situation, they have every right to set a boundary to cut you off. They have every right. It doesn't mean they don't love you, but it does mean that they're choosing to love themselves and protect themselves from being hurt and betrayed. Okay, Pisces, there it is. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys for the beginning of April. Much love to all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.